What's up YouTube, ODST General back again with Stormworks. Now this is actually my uh, my second time recording videos for this, however, uh, you know the last one I wasn't really a big fan of, so we've got 13 minutes to try and get out to this uh, rig and it's 4 kilometers away, this is going to take a minute. Anyways, uh, this isn't my first video, but uh, you know, I don't think I'll show you guys the first video for this one in this case, because uh, it was really boring. I had this uh, I had this ship and it was pretty much based off the uh, starter ship and I had modified it slightly and oh boy oh boy and I was gonna just talk about how unstable that ship was uh, let's try this again uh, anyways there was really bad storms like it would have been really awesome weather for video because the storms were just so crazy but uh, you know anyways the Basically, the boat kept flipping over every time I tried to get somewhere, so it's just a lot of driving with no action. So, uh, you know, I've spent uh, I spent several days working on various designs, just uh, trying to get a better idea of how the uh, how the game kind of works or how its logic is as far as like floating boats and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know that my logic or my my understanding of it's a whole lot better, but uh, I do have a boat that uh, floats and it's pretty stable. Uh, there isn't any really weights or anything in this thing, so I don't know how it's going to handle in like really bad storms or something. Um, unfortunately, this thing wasn't created in creative mode, it was created in uh, story mode, so I haven't really had a chance to test it out yet. So, we might find out here. The weather's kind of rough right now. It's not real bad, but uh, it's definitely windy. There's a lot of white caps on the water, as you can see. Um, the boat, though, you know, the the old design, it was very unstable because the uh, the whole front of the boat was more, you know, conventional. It wasn't like a flat-fronted boat like this. It wasn't uh, very even. It was, uh, it had pretty much a conventional bow where it came to a point. And, uh, I don't know, it just rocked back and forth a lot. And I put pontoons on the side. Uh, but then, you know, I was like, well, I can't fit any cargo on this. I can only fit a handful of people, and it's really slow, so it's... It's just not a you know good design at all, really. I couldn't uh, I couldn't rescue people. I couldn't get to emergencies fast. So I was like, okay, you know, I get the uh, I get this uh, aircraft engine. That's what that is. This is an aircraft engine in there now. And I'm like, well, you know what? Let's make this thing more powerful. And you know, I put the engine in it. It sunk down to the water a little bit, but it uh, it wasn't that bad. But it just went so fast. I was like, okay, well, let's. Uh, Let's alter the design some. You know, I didn't have any more uh, seats in there at the time, but I had thought to myself, gee, I could really use some cargo space because I'm pretty good with passengers right now. And you know, worst case scenario, I just have somebody stand in the uh, in the cabin, and I'm pretty good usually. Ooh, boy, yeah, this is getting some bad weather. This is definitely going to be a good test of this. Anyways, you know, so I decided to put in this little cargo area, just like you see in the back. I mean, that's exactly how it was in the uh, the previous builds. Is I just wanted something a little bit sunken in there. I could still get cargo in and out of it fairly easy, but it, you know, was just, uh, it wasn't, like, necessarily going to slide off quite as easily. So I, I came up with this design. I think I need to alter it a little bit just so it's flat along the back side because that's where it likes to try and roll off at. Um, at any rate, you know, I, I designed that and uh, <laughs> it started sinking into the water pretty good. So I've been trying to like alter the design for some time now. I was like, well, I'll just make the base of the boat wider and that didn't work. So I was like, well, no, I'll just make the, uh, the bow bigger. Didn't work. So finally I'm like, what happens if I just make it flat and finally it's working? Oh yeah, these waves are getting real bad now though. Oh man, I'm actually, I'm, I'm a little bit worried this thing might sink. Uh, with the way I'm going into these uh, into these ways, I'll slow it down some here. Uh, it's gonna take me a bit longer. I'm almost wishing I had my uh, my helicopter here for these passengers. Anyways, you know it's uh, this is this is gonna be really shady. I'm not sure I'll be able to uh, be able to handle this. God, these waves are they're just getting bigger and bigger. The way the wind doesn't seem like it's that bad. I got my volume turned way down though too, so that's probably why it doesn't sound as windy as it is. Uh so this thing not really good for going into waves with that flat front. It just it ramps right off of them. Thankfully it's a lot more buoyant and it's a lot more stable as far as rocking back and forth goes, or at least it seems to be, so that's kind of a saving grace here, but Gosh, it's uh, 
definitely not good seas to be going up against stuff. That's, uh, like I said, though, I haven't had a chance to test it in these conditions as of yet. So if you guys haven't seen Stormworks before, which I suspect a lot of you have, getting that, being that I get a lot of fans from uh, Northern Alex, and he's already played this a couple times, uh, basically the premise of this is it's kind of like uh, like Space Engineers or Kerbal Space Program or something similar, where it's, uh, you know, you basically go out and you, you build boats or various vehicles, boats, planes, helicopters, whatever you want in this, uh, even land vehicles. And you use those as a means to do various tasks, which in this case are generally like centered around rescuing people, uh, various Coast Guard and sea activities. So, uh, you know, in this case, I forget exactly what the mission was. I mean, you guys just read it at the start of the thing. I didn't read too much, but uh, we're doing like an evacuation or transport of some kind. Um, I just did a uh, an oil rig rescue, which was pretty awesome. Try and leave my boat out here. Hopefully it won't go anywhere. I mean, there's no anchor, so. Oh, boy. Some rough seas. Oh, man. It's going to be crazy trying to get passengers onto this thing. I really wish I had my helicopter, because uh, my helicopter would have probably been a lot safer. Um, last time I tried transporting people, though, I was having a lot of bugs with it. I don't know if it's that particular crew that was really bugged out or if that was something with the recent patch they just did where uh, that's screwing with like transporting people uh, we're gonna find that out here pretty soon though I'd suspect well thankfully though that new designs uh, a lot more stable oh that's not good where you guys gonna fall there okay anyways let's uh, let's go ahead and get in here but yeah this is uh, it's a lot of fun um, there's a lot of different things you can do because you're able to like program how different blocks work and stuff and there's a lot of like logic blocks that they call them where you can kind of set various conditions which stuff will set up on so um, you know it's uh, it's pretty interesting premise though how this all works you can see this uh, this elevator here is pretty much designed with like all the uh, all the blocks available to you I don't know some of them might be a little bit different or something that you can't normally get but Pretty much this is something you could actually just set up on like a, a big boat or something if you had one. So pretty much at the top here, there we are. There's another ladder. We're pretty high up right now. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I wouldn't ever advise in real life, but I'm just going to get these people and I'm going to toss them off the side. Uh, there is no fall damage. There's somebody up on top here. Okay, well, there's two people up on top. So yeah, we're going to have these two guys follow us. Um, pathfinding for the AI can be kind of hit and miss, so it's not something I would completely rely on uh, if you can avoid it. Ooh, look at that wind go. Oh man, where's the boat? The boat is over here. The boat's getting away from it, isn't it? Okay. Who's first? Oh, they're just going to go themselves, point in case. Alright, I hate heights. <laughs> oh, somebody missed and hit the thing. So we got a little ladder on the back of the boat here to, to get to it. Gonna need that. Oh boy. This thing is all over the place. Oh man, I put him in the boat and it capsized. Oh with the uh, with the design I have though, it's it can't completely capsize, it's that buoyant. Oh man, I I don't know if I wanna try and fix this. I don't know how well that's gonna work. Oh this is gonna be shady. Yeah, I don't think there's any pulling back from this, but let's give it a shot. Okay, let's try and hit this, maybe. That'll help. I'm actually wondering, though, because maybe it's just how it's bugged. Oh man, I can't even crouch here. Oh 
Oh gosh. <laughs> uh. So where's this passenger? Is he back on the boat again? Oh yeah, he's all over the place. He's trying to write the boat up for me. You can do it, guy. Alright, yeah, we're not saving the boat here in this instance. Uh, so we're going to plan B. How much time do we have left for this mission? We've got three minutes to actually be able to get the cash reward, but we've got a few more minutes to actually succeed in it. Like, we've got 13 minutes to finish this. and Let's go ahead let's do this. Let's teleport here. I'm going to spawn in my helicopter, and the game's going to crash. What's up, YouTube? ODST Journal back again from that last cut. <laughs> uh, so I've been I've been recording for a minute here, and uh, I just look over at my recording software after getting back in the game after that crash, and uh, realize that it was black screen. So I've been talking to myself, and uh, that's all going to get cut. In fact, I'll probably jump cut here in a minute because we've got seven kilometers to get to this. Uh, basically, what I was just saying is that uh, helicopter controls are really funky. Uh, hopefully somebody sees this video because I, I didn't see a whole lot of videos for this that really explain how flying work and I just had a heck of a time uh, trying to figure out how to fly and basically it's, it's really simple to fly uh, maybe not intuitive but it's simple uh, so as probably most people will figure it out by this point W is to lean forward S leans back and uh, E and D or A and D I should say uh, lean you left to right now that's pretty pretty common helicopter controls but you'd think that by that logic sticking with kind of your average helicopter controls Q and E would lo rotate you left and right and then like shifting control or space or something would uh, actually lift you into the air and drop you down that is not the case you have to use the arrow keys uh, so yeah see arrow keys I'm up in the air right now uh, you know hopefully this is something that will change in a later build it's not intuitive, like I said, and the reason for that is, is one, because nobody's going to think to use the arrow keys. Uh, you're, you think it's going to be something you can do with one hand, because why would the developer make you take your hands off your mouse when you use your mouse to look around? But uh, they do. So I prefer to fly in third person, even though I do kind of like first person a little bit better in this. Um, you know, I don't know. It's just it's one of those things. Hopefully they'll fix it, though. Uh, so anyways, the plan is we're going to get in there with our helicopter. We're going to try and land on the uh, the turbine. Uh, from what I cut out, we're on the same mission. Uh, basically, I started right before I started recording this actual video in the first place. So uh, it's we went through, skipped through some time. It's the same exact mission that we had uh, previously. we got to rescue these people from that wind turbine. So the plan is we're going to actually land on that helipad you guys saw as I was climbing it originally. And then we're going to uh, load them onto the helicopter. Now, as I said the first time going up, that was bugged in a previous build. So, we'll see how it works. Uh, at any rate, you know, we just the talking I've done here, we've closed uh, a few kilometers in just a couple minutes here. But uh, I think I'll go ahead and skip again. And uh, hopefully this doesn't crash or anything with this bad weather. It seems like it wants to try and crash on me. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and uh, cut to you, and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, we are approaching the uh, the wind turbine here. I'll go ahead and flip on auto hover because I am not a great pilot. Um, the winds died down here. I don't know if it's because I've gotten a lower altitude, but I don't see the uh, wind stream above us anymore. Uh, just like Sea of Thieves, which uh, is out in its final beta, so I'll probably be playing some of that as soon as I'm done recording here. Anyways, <laughs> like Sea of Thieves, you see those little wind uh, streaks above you as you're you know, flying around or even just as you're sailing about uh, to indicate the strength of the wind, although usually it's pretty evident by the sea. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to land, and I'm going to get out, I'm pressing F because that's force of habit, but uh, pretty decent landing. I do, once again, need autopilot, so I'm sure there's much better pilots out there than I, but... Uh, I'll take that. I I fully accept that. I'm not a great pilot. Uh, helicopter kind of rocking back just a tad bit because uh, of those little pontoons I got on the side. I still needed to be able to land places, and I found it like to tipped backwards. So uh, this thing's not going up. There it goes. Okay. So uh, as you guys could see, I've got a uh, character here. I can't show you right now because the elevator, but. Uh, 
Characters wearing like a blue jumpsuit with a uh, orange light vest and uh, aviator sunglasses. There is a level of character customization in this. Basically, when you start the game, you get to customize your character for each game you start. Uh, and from what I understand, it's not in yet, but this is to have multiplayer at one point. I've seen the option for it. I haven't even tried clicking it yet, but uh, that should be a lot of fun. This would be a really fun game to play multiplayer, I think. You know, especially like those big ships, like the... Uh, one of the more popular ones that's out there is a uh, Coast Guard Cutter. Would just be so, so cool because it's just such a big ship. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four is up on the roof again. So let's go ahead and head up the ladder. Open the hatch. Still windy up here, but uh, you know, it's always windy up here, like no matter what the conditions. I mean, I guess that's just uh, part of being up by like a wind turbine. Uh, you can see that's going a lot slower than it was. Uh, we do have the uh, the helicopter this time around, so we're actually going to hop down this way, and we're going to go back down uh, the old-fashioned way. Try not to lose anybody along the path here. Just keep kind of walking around here until everybody's on board. Everybody is on board, except for the guy who just got left behind. Stepped back out. Alrighty. Let's not good, but it's fine. What's our time on the mission? So we've got four minutes. So we're actually doing far better than we were on the previous playthrough so far. Um, but we have to rescue all the engineers, so we need to go back up and get the other guy, which is a shame. I don't know if we'll be able to actually do that with how long this elevator takes to get down. But that's okay. What, uh, what do we get if we complete this? We get a uh, gyro blueprint, and uh, we get a compass ball for actually completing this. I like compass balls. They're good. I mean, I don't know how actually useful they are, but they're they're good. Oh, oh, I want to say it's still bugged, but uh, shoot. Did that just go down? Oh, well, it's... That'll work. That's fine. I can work with that. Uh, so, yeah, here's that pathfinding I think I was talking about in the uh, previous video. I don't know. Well, not previous video, but uh, previous play through here. I hopefully didn't cut that part out, but yeah, AI pathfinding is just awful. Okay, so I need to be facing this way. Which way is this way? So that is towards the back of the wind turbine, it looks like. It's hard to zoom in. I can't get that far in on the map, but uh, yeah, hopefully it's... Come on, go quicker. Faster. Go. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Go, elevator. Go, go, gadget elevator. <sighs> so, yeah, sometimes it's... I don't know. Sometimes this game's flawed, but that's okay. I mean, like I said, it's, it's still very early on, and it's a smaller title, so I can forgive stuff like this every once in a while, especially with, like, a game where it's uh, basically a bunch of puzzle pieces put together. I can forgive a few things like that, but uh, definitely stuff they need to be working on. Okay, so we're going to do this. Apparently it was trying to go up, but it was stuck. So let's try this again. The elevator bumped up. The game just shut down in front of me for some reason. This is... I uh, wonder if it's having issues because of the guy up there. What if I do this? See, it's going sideways, or at least that one door is. Well, that is a issue. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's see here. You got two minutes to rescue all four people, and I don't think I'll be able to do that in two minutes to get them to the drop-off point, which is two miles away. So if we rescue two engineers, which we've got three, we just can do that in seven minutes. So we're just going to rescue these uh, these last couple people. And we're going. Sorry, other guy, but so you know, uh, on the bright side, there's actually nothing that appears to be at first glance wrong with the uh, wind turbine so that's okay I'm sure it'll be fine I'm gonna turn our flashlight on by pressing V 
and set him down there and we're gonna hop in the helicopter ourselves. I forgot I didn't even have enough seats anyway so it didn't really matter. <laughs> forgot that about the helicopter. Small oversight on my part so this kind of works out. Uh, helicopter going really slow here. It's not wanting to rotate so it's definitely uh, the people that are bugged right now. It's just no bueno so let's see here. This uh, this thing's behind us here, so what we're going to do is we're just going to lean the helicopter backwards and we're going to start a slight turn as much as we can, I should say, and uh, start getting back towards this island. So, uh, yeah, basically I'm just going to keep going backwards and we're going to hold uh, S and then the up key and we're just going to keep gaining altitude while also going backwards. And that'll keep us with a backwards momentum. Uh, interestingly, it looks like we're dropping them off at the uh, at the reactor here. So we're gonna let off the upkeep because we're pretty high up now. So in order to actually deliver these people, it's gonna be pretty ridiculous. What I have to do is I'm gonna have to drop them off. It by like landing the helicopter then despawning the helicopter where they're at and then going back um, yeah I don't know it's really stupid this unfortunately this is an issue with the boat too currently then because in the other mission I tried transporting him through uh, use of the helicopter and you know I, I got him pretty much there except for one guy and so I went and got the other guy by like boat tried to get him off and I had the same exact issues so I had to kind of have a lot of different problems with it. Okay so we're as soon as we get kind of across from it what I do is try and shift and use the uh, the A key to to shift over that way and then we'll just try to land relatively close. Uh, it's not going to be perfect by any means of the word but let's try off auto hover too. That probably would help us go a little bit faster at least. And auto hovers off, you can still see it wasn't because I had auto hover left on. I'm sure there's a couple of people who I missed that or didn't turn it off. They're like, oh my god, you idiot, auto hover's not on. No wonder you can't go. It's it's not because of auto hover though. Uh, it's just because the game's currently bugged. Uh, this wasn't an issue previously, so I don't know how long until this will be resolved. Hopefully not too long. Uh, this is fairly game breaking. It's not the end of the world that you can work around it, but it's uh, it's not easy. It's definitely uh, you know if, if times you know you're on like a time sensitive mission, which all these are, uh, it takes a lot more time. So now with that being said, you know cargo missions and stuff don't seem to be affected, so that's uh, that's a plus. Kind of going a little bit farther backwards than I should be because I am pressing S still. So I'm going to press W and uh, go forwards just a little bit. I'm going to press down. There we go. So we'll just hold down this uh, this A key. I keep saying W key. It's A key, I mean to say. And uh, we're just going to kind of get over here. It looks like uh, we're going to drop them off uh, right on that lower level by the uh, housing facility or whatever it is. So, getting real close to our uh, drop-off point here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, drop altitude. And we're going to actually press the actual W key this time, along with the uh, A key. This is, uh, this is pretty difficult, not having like the controls to actually like be able to properly do this, so bear with me here, guys. And even though we don't really have control, do a fairly soft touchdown. And uh, this is going to be really buggy, so based off my last time, we're just going to despawn the helicopter. They should all sp remain right there. Perfect. That looks like it's the case. And we're just going to get right back in the helicopter, turn it on, and take off. Okay. So everybody should be remaining right where, uh, right where we landed, or pretty darn close to it. 
Uh, so we're going to go ahead and shut off auto hover now. I don't like flying at night without auto hover because this uh, water tends to sneak up on you really fast. Um, you know, you've you've got the uh, the indicator that tells you like how level you are and, and like how far down or up the helicopter is pointing, which is good. It's a nice tool to have in this environment because I mean you really do kind of rely on that. It's not just for looks, but it doesn't really tell you how high up you actually are. I suppose that, that might be like the altimeter on the uh, right side though the numbers there I'm not really sure I haven't tested that out I haven't really acknowledged it as I was landing so once I get close to landing we'll have to check that out the uh, small mercy is is that you know you think that even with these floats on here this thing would be really easy to sink as you guys saw when it went flying off the uh, wind turbine that's actually not the case. This thing is very difficult to actually intentionally sink. I actually had it at one point upside down in the water and was able to reactivate it and then as soon as I like turned it back on it basically righted itself and I was able to take off. Um, right now the, the gameplay mode is basically they've got normal mode and that's the only thing that's available but it looks like they're going to have other modes later on like survival modes or something where if uh, components get drenched in water or you know submerged in water they're not necessarily going to work as intended um, I don't know what all parts those will be but I suspect a helicopter should not be <laughs> put into the water so that's uh, that should be pretty interesting once it gets put into place uh, unfortunately we're quite far out here uh, we're six kilometers out so I'll probably skip ahead again here guys Alright guys, we're coming back up on the uh, drop off here. We still got that one person left on the uh, station, but that's fine. I did not turn my auto hover back on. That's okay though. And the helicopter tends to lean with the uh, auto hover off as you land. Like I said, that's just an issue with the pontoons but uh, that's okay all right guys come on up welcome to the uh, nuclear reactor facility uh, they are going to be housing you here oh that's gay I didn't realize yeah I ran out of time so apparently I only get the compass ball which is really frustrating because of the bug I mean that would not have happened uh, had it not been for that bug I would have at least gotten that uh, gyro component which would have been really nice to have for a helicopter um, okay, well, that's fine. We're probably pretty close to time, but let's go ahead and we're just going to see what the, uh, what the next mission we get is. And, you know, if it's something really quick and easy, we'll go ahead and do it. And if it's another, like, person transport, we'll, uh, we'll end the video. Uh, cause right now, according to the timer, since I've restarted, we're at 22 minutes. Now I know I cut out a couple chunks from both of these videos that I've got for this episode, but, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly where we're at time-wise. I have a feeling it's pretty good chunk of time we're currently at though really rough seas right now holy cow and they're uh, they're kind of dying down some still pretty rough uh, looks like we got a fair amount of time passing the uh, interesting I didn't even notice the year apparently it's 2032 currently in game uh, hmm interesting I didn't oh <laughs> I'm kind of curious that they bothered, well, like, why they would bother with a time frame for this because, I mean, there's not really a whole lot of futuristic stuff in here. I mean, you get the magnets and stuff, but um, a lot of it looks actually very, like, not even old-timey, but, like, antique, like, diving, like, suits and stuff like that and pirate gear. Holy cow. So we're now, like, three or four days in with no missions popping up. Um, okay, well, that's, that's alright. Let's go ahead and fast forward. 
So we're in a new month. Well into a new month. Uh, it's been like a week in game time now. Well, we might have to end it there. Oh man, that would have been awesome weather, that fog. You guys see that? That was... I've seen some fog in here, but that was thick fog. Hmm. Wow, like the entire month has passed and no missions? That's odd. That, uh, that can't be right. There's gotta be something going on here. Uh, you know, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and end it here, guys. I mean, we just, we fast-forwarded through, you know, an, an entire month here, and no missions popped up at all? I don't know. I've gotta assume that was a bug, because I was having missions come up every, like, day or so. You know, maybe every two days. I mean, yeah, it's randomly generated, but still, that doesn't seem right. At any rate, guys, uh, let me know what you thought of Stormworks. I'm thinking that you'll see more of this as uh, we go into the future here, but uh, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are nonetheless, and then uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.